2018. It is Sunday, August 1st, and joining me in the studio, Adam is here and as George Dole is here. Mm -hmm. And we are going to talk about a couple things this morning. And uh, But the first thing we'll talk about, of course, is next weekend is the Dole Three Miler. And uh, that'll be a great event. And uh, Adam, why don't, let's give a little overview of just the three miler first, and then we're going to get into why we're doing the Dole three miler. All right. So next weekend we have the Dole three miler. It is happening on the rail trail in Freiburg, Maine, at the, starting at the visitor center, right across the street from the Freiburg New Church Assembly. Everybody probably notices this camp as <laughs> you are driving by the. The, the main visitor center. So at 8 a.m. next Saturday morning, we are starting the event, so please show up a little bit early. But we are having, it's a three mile road race on the rail trail out and back. And if you register on active.com right now, it is $20. At the, the day of the event, it is $25. It's a great event. Last year we had about 85 participants and we are expecting more this year. It is a really fun, um, family friendly atmosphere. Lots of prizes, lots of giveaways and something for everybody when you show up. Well, that, that just sounds great. I mean, so you've had 80, you had 85 people show up last year. Yep. That's a great number for the first year. And then, like you say, there'll definitely be some more. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about now, George, why are we doing the Dole Three Miler? <laughs> I'm still trying to figure that out. Well, let's talk, let's talk about who George Dole is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, I went, spent two years at Oxford and then ran on their track team. And on the second year, I was Oxford's top miler, which meant that I got into the race. I participated in the race in which Bannister broke four minutes for the first time in history. It's, I think by all odds, it is the most famous foot race in, in athletics history. That's amazing. Well, we've got a photo right there mm -hmm. of, uh, of the race itself. Mm -hmm. So are you in that photo, George? I am in, I am in third at that point. And first there is, is Chris Brasher, who set the pace for, for the first, uh, over the first half of the race, followed by Roger Bannister, followed by me, and followed by Chris Chataway, the other Oxonian graduate, who set the pace for the uh, third quarter. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so, and how long was that? A one mile? It was That's just, a, mile. Just a one mile race. So the yeah. fact that you had somebody who ran a pace for the first half mile, <laughs> and then somebody who set the pace for the the second part of the the mile is quite amazing. And as you said, this was the first time. And so, what was the uh, Bannister's finishing time? It was three fifty nine point six. You can't get much closer to four than the, the <laughs> But people had gotten close on the other side. Yep. Uh, See, this this was post-war, yep. and during the during the war years, there was very little competitive athletics. But just before the the uh, the war, two uh, Swedes, Arne Andersson and Gunder Haig, had been getting closer and closer and closer. They were down to 401, and they were the improvements were getting into tens of seconds. Yeah. And it almost as though there was a kind of a Zeno's paradox that you'll always get a little closer, but you'll never actually get there. Yeah. Yeah. And now what is the, what is the record right now for the... Oh, I don't know. It's under 340. It's under 340, but you're putting me on the spot. Is it really under that. 340? Yeah. So that's that's quite an improvement. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what a, what a great event. And you were talking before about why this was such an important thing to happen in England. Yeah. England at that time was recovering from the war. Uh, and England had been battered. I mean, you know, families moved out of London, people yeah. displaced. London bombed, bombed, bombed. Remember walking down a street in London and seeing the uh, pavement, the, the name of the store and set in the pavement, looking up and there was no store. Absolute, yeah. totally gone. This was downtown London. And economically, struggling to recover. Uh, half of its workforce having been killed, terribly low spirit. Yeah. And uh, the three things that happened within a span of a year, 
Hillary climbed Everest. That was another unconquerable, and that was right. Brit British spirit triumphing. <laughs> the coronation, which was a gorgeous event, a spectacular event, and the sort of dreams of a new Elizabethan era yep. sponsored. And then Bannister and this, and this, on doing the impossible. Yeah. Yeah, and the British spirit and it just gave Britain a feeling we really are significant, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. And on the way back. Now, were you the only American in the race? Yeah. Yeah. So that that's pretty amazing. Now, of course, you came in fifth. fifth yeah. Which is still, I think that's an amazing, amazing accomplishment. And uh, yeah. so, to, so to celebrate that, let's, we're going to jump back yeah. to the George Dole, the Dole Three Miler uh, next week. And uh, you've got some, got some neat things here on the table. And the first one, George, I want you to hold up that. Yeah. And those were the, the shorts that George wore. In uh, 1954. 1954, right? And uh, so those were borrowed a year ago by this company that has reproduced them. Mm -hmm. So this company is Tracksmith. They are Tracksmith. Yeah. yeah. They are based in New England. They're in Massachusetts, and they have created this George Dole line of running attire. And so when we found out that they were doing this, we. They've got some. They did a really great interview and write-up with George, but they have also donated a kit to the Dual Three Miler for us to award as a prize to the top male and female. So we, the top male finisher, will receive a pair of George's shorts. <laughs> the top female finisher will receive one of the the shirts, and then in honor of George's fifth place finish, the fifth place finisher in the Dual Three Miler will also receive one of the one of the Tracksmith running shirts as well. That's great. What a, what a great way to do that. What a great way to honor it. Sure. Now, did you run last year, George? Yeah, in the three miles. In the yeah. three mile. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. That's, that's just great. And so you've got some events going on. Perhaps Friday night, you're not quite sure, you said. There is. Mm -hmm. uh, I finished next to last in my age group, which was also first. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh, there's, yeah, there's a shot right there mm -hmm. from last year. Yeah. And uh, so two more things we want to talk about. So Friday night, what's going on Friday night? So Friday night, you can register on site at the Freiburg New Church Assembly, which is across the street from the, from the rail trail, from the visitor center. And you can attend the, the, the camp does have a dinner every every evening and you are more than welcome to attend i believe you will be around mm -hmm. friday oh, yeah. night for dinner yeah so you could you could join uh, george and eat in his presence <laughs> and i'm sure he we could regale you with a few stories of the race then you can yeah register get ready yourself registered pick up your bib and then saturday morning at eight o'clock the race will begin and then you were talking before about the medals about the medal, so anybody who was there last year... Or the year, awards, I guess. Yes. Well, it can't be a medal. <laughs> <laughs> so the, every, every, every participant, as you, if you were there last year, you recall, there was a wooden disc that is stamped, that is branded with the Dole Three Miler logo. And on the back of it, it says FNCA Official Sturdily. And so this goes back long into the history of the Freiburg New Church Assembly camp. The Sturdily was kind of this mythic scavenger hunt item that the youth of the camp were tried, had to go into Freiburg and try to, try to find. Yeah. So we kind of co-opted that idea and turned it into something that could be brought to, you know, carry it, I guess, on in a, in a whole different way. That's great. That's great. So participants are definitely going to, you're going to have a great time. And so that's happening next Saturday. The race starts at 8 a.m., but definitely want to be there Absolutely. before that mm -hmm. so that you're ready to go. And uh, so how, do you have a lot of competitors already signed up? Or? As of last night, we've got around 50. That's awesome. That's great. And as anybody who has run a race before knows that usually it's in the last week that you get your most participants or most registrants. So we are mm -hmm. expecting you know, bigger numbers than last year. So we're kind of been shooting for you know, 120 kind of our target yeah mm -hmm. and so it, it'll be a great time it'll be lots of fun there's a whole host of, of age groups and prizes for mm -hmm. for everybody we've got you know donations from New Balance in North Conway from the Oxford House in Freiburg from 302 Smokehouse in Freiburg from Bagels Plus in North Conway 
so we have all this great number of, of raffle prizes to give away. It's going to be really exciting. Well, that's great. So, uh, and if people want to get some more information, how do they? You go to active.com. You can go to active.com and search for the Dole Three Miler to register. You can also go to Dole Three Miler.com. That's D O L E, the number three, and then Miler M I L E R dot com for more history about the race that George participated in, more history about why George is so important to the Freiburg. Um, new Church Assembly and to the Freiburg New Church um, on Oxford Street, mm -hmm. and the rail, then there's the rail trail. into the rail and yeah, into the rail trail, and so then we can, and you can certainly then link to the active um, site from from that as well. Great. Well, it just sounds like such a great event, and, and George, so uh, good to see you again. Yeah, I would just one little thing. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I, I was very impressed with how well organized it was last year. Uh, the, the first venture, uh, yes. you know, uh, it couldn't have been better organized. It, people right. were treated well. Everything ran smoothly, and it, and it ended on a real upper. I think everybody went away grinning. Yeah. Well, that's great. That's yeah. great. So, yeah. the story, love the story every year, George. And so, hopefully, we're going to see you again next year talking about it. And Adam, thanks so much for coming Thank by. You. And don't forget to uh, check out the Dole Three Miler happening in Freiburg next Saturday. Back in a minute here on White Mountains today.